Secret King here. We we're back here once again. This chapter, <laughs> Hajji Pole, round 1336. This chapter came out a few days ago. I've just been procrastinating on making this video for no apparent reason. I've, I've just been procrastinating. There's, there's like no real excuse set. But yes, a brand new chapter has just dropped. Of course, I had to download the images. I have seen some of those, some of those, some of those panels and teasers. I know not too much actually happens in the chapter, but top to find out. How did he pull round thirteen thirty six? Two champions scope each other out. What's the audience reaction? Round thirteen thirty six. Why is called super middleweight? As Takamura walks back to the corner, simp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cause that last, that that last, that last round, um, well, that last chapter was explosive. It was amazing. It was fantastic. It's it's some of the best of the best stuff we've seen throughout the entire series. And we see from the audience, it's silence. Takamura thinks. And he cries like, "Yeah, hold up." Yeah, whoa, <laughs> that delayed reaction. Whoa, 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 what was that? Some, something crazy is happening. It's already happening. I've never seen anything like this. Awesome, seriously, just awesome. This is a new chapter for the history books. <laughs> yeah, think about it. This is the first time we've seen something like this. That says where, like, literally the first panel, the absolutely first panel of the fight just goes straight off the bat and just go wait straight to 100. Just go immediately to the action. Just back. To, I've never seen a fight like this. Maybe it's been too long. Because even then, that was like a long build up for the E Force to send out. So maybe it's just me. But even with Sendo getting hit with the dip throw, it was not even that explosive. It was just a dip throw. You gotta keep dragging and talking more, going back and forth, blocking each other's punches, bobbing and weaving, throwing out like mixed jabs and smashes back at each other. They did just right off the back when I was touching gloves. Keeps dragging, going for the heavens, cannon. That Kakamura cannon with his own ground cannon. Nobody hit, nobody connected, and Will keeps dragging luck play against him. Who knows? But that last chapter was was spectacular. It was fantastic. And now we we'll have to warn: this is a little bit shorter chapter than usual. But this <laughs> that last chapter was great. You hear somebody thinking tonight we're all history. Uh, tonight we're all witnessing history. And talking more, it's like as he's still walking back the counter. Oh, oh! Now everyone's fired up. <laughs> Not a bad reaction, I suppose. <laughs> Not a bad reaction. And then we go over there to, of course, the core gamma three. Plus me out of it. <laughs> Plus me out of it. I don't know why that's funny. But the core got a three. Plus, plus me out I, I, I can't tell you why I thought that was funny. But you got Kimura saying, everyone's, uh, give, everyone's giving fired up is obvious. But for most, every, for most, everyone here right now, this is the first time I've ever seen a Super Midnight match with their own eyes. And the guy could like, it's enough to take your breath away. <laughs> questions me out of it. And what does the <laughs> OPBF champion think? As Aoki once again put his head, no, put his chinny chin chin on the back of Miata's head. I don't know why he keeps doing this. <laughs> and he's got you like, ah, oh, it took your breath too. He <laughs> was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, the guy can continue. We're the same. And Miata looks at him. <laughs> Kimura sw <laughs> swipes at it to got it. Shut it, you! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I believe this is all Miata commentary. Speed is faster, lower weight class, and power is as strong as the heavier weight classes. I was just thinking, it's no wonder why the middleweight, and the middleweight, why that middleweight is the class with both of them. Generally, your weight goes down, so your power goes up, and so, so does your power. And as you goes up, you lose your speed. Marvelous Marvin Hagel is an excellent example of the idea of the fusion of both. Well, I, I, I was improvising that at the end of that. And we gotta continue. So, although it seems like the fusion point may be at super midway after all. At least, def <laughs> at least that's what watching those two make me feel. As finally me out of headbutts, <laughs> headbutts Yoki and get his chin off his head. <sighs> And we gotta continue. Even just a jab can surefire kill. Moving that fast to that size. They're both really, <laughs> they really they both really do take your breath away. And avoiding those punches and miss a series of feints. And the guy can like see? <laughs> it can more like shut it. It can more it can more continues. And the later rounds, what do you think? 
Me, 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 and a, me and a pause. Me and a, it's like, I have no idea, but I can't say something that's odd about this match. As Miata says to himself, I can't shake this bad feeling. Oh, and it shows, before we get to that panel, can't shake this bad, I, 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 I'll say that for later. Cause the reason I said, it, as soon as he says that, you see Kimura and Aoki just with question marks. And you have the great Takamura, oh, you, you have the coach Kurogama, Takamura! <laughs> How's your condition? <laughs> How's your condition? And Takamura's like, can't you tell from looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the coach continues, not yours, idiot. I mean your opponent. <laughs> this is like a slight pause from talking more, and he's like, eh. "Oh, dragon chan, <laughs> dragon, dragon chan, wow, dragon chan, wow." That's the d I was not expecting to call him dragon chan. I, I don't. <laughs> it's Shinoda. It's Shinoda and Yagi sits there and wait. Epo pays attention. And, uh, and Takamura continues. Well, he's kind of strong, but still, if I feel like he gets serious, he'll be even stronger. He'll be even. T that, 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 that should be expected. And Coach Kurogama throws out his thoughts. So he's saying he was even. He has even higher gears than he can shift to. Makes sense. He's a champion after all. And Takamura glanced at him. And Kurogama's like, huh? Takamura's like, don't worry. It doesn't matter how many gears you got. All that matters is, is that I'm stronger than, e <laughs> is that I'm even stronger than him. And <laughs> I mean, when I shot this image, there's like another Haji per YouTuber who posted the chapters, and he had this in the thumbnail. It was just like, <laughs> is that, e is that I'm even stronger than, than, than Keith's dragon? Really? So what, <laughs> that, <laughs> That, that brings an interesting perspective because it's just like Could it be possible? Like I, I speculated in the last chapter could Keith Dragon Luck completely backfire? Because arguably like, if you think about it how, how did Takamori even know that Keith was gonna drag that uh, drop that heaven scanner like that? And out of all things that the, the dodge a chopping right <laughs> the, a chopping lead left with following up with your own lead uppercut, it's just and then y'all both just glaze each other and no one connects at all. It's just I don't know, I think this might end terribly for for Keith Dragon, to be honest. Cause when I think about it, I can't, I can't see how currently this can go bad for talking more. Because sure, anything can happen, anything can come up. I haven't even finished this chapter, but from what I'm personally feeling, I believe that that Keith Jazz is gonna get obliterated. Not even from what uh, Takamura just said. Cause this is used to talk Takamura like back then, Richard Bison. Do you know what Takamura can do? <laughs> Keep the, Richard Bison like what? what? <laughs> he can do anything. Bam! Right into his chinny chin chin. So it just, I don't know. So I don't know. I don't know. Because like, something's not right, something's something's wrong here, and it's not on the talk of more end either. It's like something's gonna go wrong with Keith Dragon. Go on to the next page. I said this last week. And Keith Dragon's coach like thoughts. What's your prison after the first round? Keith's like, I don't know. The coach is shocked. I didn't know that he was this this strong. Well, what's uh, technically that's not, that's something else that Haji Epo doesn't really focus on. It focuses on this the boxer's perspective exclusively. But it will be interesting to see like Epo or somebody else to catch up on the news broadcast and see what some of these news channels and things like that are saying. Cause she do got Fuji and Mari. But for like the Boxing Monthly, and we know those guys. I'm talking about like, some outside of Penn, maybe some Americans, or maybe somebody from North Japan or s further South Japan. And see their overall opinions on the upcoming boxes. Like we had that one episode in chapter where they introduced Vork. Cause like since then we haven't really got any... Like nobody like giving their opinions on Epo or Yoki or anybody with the whole Japanese fighting class or even with Talking More. What do people think about Talking More as in the boxing commentators and things like that? We've heard from veterans, we hope from from a Talking More's peers, we hope from some of Epo's peers, Mishiba, Sendo, Miyata, uh, Sayeki, Okoda, uh, Okita, and AJ Dante with the veteran, but you, you haven't heard with anybody else outside of that think of him really. So it just, I thought that's one aspect that's, uh, that, that we've yet to see in Hajime Epo, and that's if you ever see it at all. If it don't have it, I wouldn't be mad, but it'd just be something to go a little further to making it one-to-one -one reality. 
But, but Keith Dragon Coach is like, what? You watch his videos over and over. Keith's like, psh, psh. That's what I'm saying. He's so strong that he's... The strategizing it was... I, I, the, the word was breaking up, so it's just like, that's what I'm saying. He's so strong that strategizing was pointless. My controller died in an audio cut up, but, but back at it. I was saying like, is, is Keith Dragon shaking in fear or something? Like, is, is, is he is he is he trauma? Is, like, is he concerned? Cause like he like it seems like he's shaking. And, and Keith Dragon says to himself, "It's obvious that he'd be strong, and he has more belts to me after all." And like, wait, wait, I, I, I gotta see what he's finna saying. And Keith's coach is like, "You're wrong. We know from strategy that he can lose gas in the second half." Wait, really? That's that's a part of your plan? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Takamura haven't ran out of gas in the later rounds since Bryant Hawk. And everybody else has just been first round KOs or even if it went for the long range, it's just like let's say I guess like the guy Rabbit, right? Remember they got the Mickey Mouse ears and how the Japanese crowd was cheering for him? Even with then, like Takamura didn't run out of gas. He was just getting beaten up. That was pretty much it. So so what is he talking about? This coach continues. No, no need to turn this into a punching match. Just do us plans. We'll take him out then. I don't. Uh, I, nah, this is this this is set up for Keith Dragon's funeral. And Keith's like, hey, 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 it's fine. The announcers, the commentator says, sick is out. And Keith Dragon says to himself, at any rate, I know he's a rough fighter, prone to uh, slug face, and yet he got top rate skills and seemingly no weaknesses. He's a solid boxer. I figure him out for the most part. As Takamura thinks to himself, maybe I'll knock him out now. Oh, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa, maybe I, wait, wait, what? Maybe I'll knock him out now. Takamura, it's been one round. And then Keith, and then, oh, boy, Keith, like, I figure him out for the most part. Wait, wait, what? Oh, this is, The better I say it. I, I know he runs at a gas in the later half, like, like, are you not gonna like, like? you're not gonna think about how he's improved since he's been in the middleweight? Cause like he ran to the gas in a major fight since Brian Hawk, and even when the matches what does go into the later rounds. As far as I can recall, keep, like Takamura just wasn't just like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, I say no, no, no. the stamina and uh, endurance. I say Sino got that one. Or Takamura and has even so far. But uh, when it refers to stamina, I don't really call Takamura really run out of stamina like that. Especially in like a major fight. Like, I honestly can't recall that happening. Like recently. Like recently. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm, I've been out of loop. Maybe like just like Kazuo from Tekken 4. I, I've been out of the game for too long. But it's just, I don't recall Takamura run out of stamina. And the fact that your main, if your main game plan, in my opinion, is to wait till somebody run out of juice and later around, and you have no other plans than that, then uh, the, the fight's over. You, you're gonna need a miracle. You, could, you better start praying when you have the chance, because that's that's that plan doesn't make any sense. And it goes back to what I was saying earlier, where it's just like, like even before this in the previous chapter review, could Keith Dragon's luck backfire? Cause I thought Odin go to a slugfest or Takamura going to start losing and then both of their luck going to run out and then they going to be in an even playing field. But what if it backfires? Now the last time I seen this much commentary or like introspection with the other boxing with somebody was for one, uh, Richard Bison and the second one well, this one goes back to Epo <clears throat> with the Koizawa fight and how that fight was basically a first point of view what it feels like to fight Epo Makanuchi instead of the Japanese fellow class. That's how I feel like and that's why I love that fight because it's just like you got you got all the in-depth thoughts and thinkings of him particularly and it's just like wait wait where did Epo go? He below bloody him just cave his liver into his rib cage and, and, and just slam his river right into his spine and it goes all right this is like this is harder than I could ever imagine so those are the only two times where I was just like Oh, we, we're actually in-depthly focusing on what the other opponent thought thinking and thoughts are. So we have had like other boxes appearance before, but it seems like this could switch it. This would be a, a Keith Dragon fight. Cause she we're getting a lot of introspection from the crowd and things like that, but it's just... I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I have a strong feeling that Keith Dragon's on loose. 
It's, it's, I say it's already over. Keith Dragon could possibly get his jaw broken, and we might actually be cheering for Takamura to lose. Because it's like, could, could, could Morikawa flipped it? Could we have another cool saw fight? Could we get the in-depth details? It's just like, yes, come on, Keith Dragon. Just one more punch. One more punch to slay that demon Takamura. Just one more. Because what this is looking, this is, this is what it seems like. Because I don't think anything will be going towards Takamura from every, every way, like everyone from the store is going. And also, fun fact, uh, Koragama eyes still look sickly. Uh, this just a quick comment. That's not his usual oldness. That's that. Now nah, that's 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 uh, no 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 no. He's he's looking good old sick as usual. But uh. <sighs> I don't, I don't know. I, I personally believe Keith Dragon gonna get his jaw broken. Gonna get his ribs smashed in. And the worst thing that Keith Dragon could properly, possibly even do is what if he goes for the ground cannon and Takamura decides to duck that uppercut and it, he doesn't get out of the way fast enough since Keith Dragon got lucky. He still connects with Takamura, but in exchange, he just shatters his own right hand and it's just across Takamura's forehead and it's just like. <laughs> Like, like Keith, like you think you can finish this? I, I don't know, man. Could this be the first Takamura opponent to, to quit in the corner, in between rounds? Could this be the first one? Cause like I'm not getting any signs of. I'm not sure we've seen a uh, Takamura back his opponents up in the corner before. Brian Hawk, David Eagle, Richard Bison. We've all seen this happen in the early rounds. We're all seeing a Takamura start to get the upper hand. It'd be time to do a back and forth type of thing. But this, this, it's, it's been one round. Oh, you got Keith Dragon over there panicking and, and shaking. And this is like he does have more belts than me. Keith, Keith, what are you, what are you mad? No, you can't be breaking down. It's been one round. Is the ta great Takamura this menacing? If this must have been. That's, that, that's, that might have stand more credence. Is Sino that insane? We, he, Sino is the only person like, I want to spar Takamura. Yeah, throw me in here. Arguably, he's more insane than Mike could, any ever, could, could ever be. Could ever be, because a friend of Gonzalez is one thing. But Sendo want to fight somebody who's at least three to four weight classes above him and want to spar with that animal. That, that, that throws the Gonzalez thing out the window. Ta Remember, Sendo wanted to spar with this man. And he still wants to spar with Takamura again. Sendo has lost his mind. Oh my, he has lost his mind. Because like he, when I saw it the first time, Wait, when I saw it the first time, he's just like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, is Keith Dragon over here shaking? Is, 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 is he concerned? And like, even, I find it concerned how they're surprised that Takamura is this strong, when in previous weight classes, he's literally one shot at people in the first round. Because like, arguably not that much happened in round one, it was pretty even. But you got Keith Dragon, everybody's like... I don't, I don't know. Now, sure, he does say. I think I got He got him figured out for the most part. He does say that, but we're talking more. Just thinking, should I go knock him out now? What? What do you mean you should go knock? This is this is this is why I, I love that. E G Gonzalez Epo was just like, should I go end it now? Sh should I go end it now, coach? Like what? Epo has never said, should I go end it now? But now we got Takamura says, I'm going to close the show. Like I said before, this could be potentially a short fight. This might not even go round past round fives. Because where does it stand up? I don't think this... I, I, I don't know. I just... Because that whole Keith Dragon panicking thing is concerning. There is no reason he should be shaking in fear. What did Takamura do to him? It's been one round. Sure, we've had boxers like Richard Bison and even David Eagle. When Delegate Eagle went in the first round with Takamura, he was sweating bullets and just like, what type of animal is this? So it's not like this is the first time we've seen somebody concerned about Takamura, but but Keith Dragon was was, was was concerned. Keith was over here like he sh like sure, it could be in a playful type of way. Sure, Keith does play around like that, but I, I don't know about this man. I don't know. It's it's just. That reaction, what a coach says, what? We watch his videos over and over. It keeps like, Psh, that's what I'm saying. He's strong, that he's so strong that strategizing was pointless. It's been one round. And I clone the fact, you initiate the slug fight. You try to take his hand off with your own cannon. What? What is happening? What is go? I don't know, because Miata... Because some of the people might take the whole thing with Miata where it says, Oh, oh, he feels, he feels concerned for Takamura. No. 
Oh no. No, that bad feeling is not coming towards Takamura. That is Keith's dragons. That is 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 Keith's dragon. Maybe I'm going crazy. But nah, that is Keith's dragon's getting knocked out. He's not making it past the shift round. I don't care what anybody says. People can try to argue whatever they want. Keith's dragon is getting knocked out before the fifth round. He's gonna be laid out across the pavement. Takamura's gonna wave his hands in the air. And we've got the usual cheers and uh it could be potentially this is the first time we're talking more. It doesn't say anything to uh, offend the crowd to the post <laughs> to the, <laughs> the post fight Chris Crawford, and then he turns up the heat. Uh, I love this stuff too much. What is this like? How's your condition? Can't you tell? I like, look at me. Not yours, idiot. I mean, you're a po like even Coach Kuragama. Even with Coach Kuragama, he's just like not with you, you fool. How how long you think he's dragging gonna stay in there? Dragon Chan? Yeah. He's kind of strong, but like, like, like seriously, Richard Bison, David Eagle, and, and Brian Huck earned Takamura's respect. All right, but with this, with, with, with talk, like, sure, Takamura's played it up. He's like, I'm fine. I can, I can do it. Especially because he keeps dragging. Just like, oh, keeps dragging a Richard Bison with a coach who's like trying to work with Takamura, explaining how things are going down, and how good David Eagle defense is, or how the counter, uh, Richard Bison's uh, flicker jabs. But with this, Takamura's like, eh, he's kind of strong. But still, I feel like he gets, if he gets serious, he gets even stronger. So he's just like, so, so you believe he got high gear to shift to? Yeah, but all that matters is that I'm even stronger than him. It's just... We've heard Takamori say we're going to tear that belt off of somebody. We've heard Takamori say, I can win, I can beat him. But the way talk, that, that's too much confidence with Takamori saying, the only thing that matters is that I'm stronger than him. And then you got Keith Dragon over here. He was over here panicking. He's over here sweating bullets and panicking. He's over here just... I can't like see it, it like I can't take that as he's laughing. It looks like he's honestly shaking. It looks like he's traumatized. But we watch the videos over and over again. He's like, hey, 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 hey. Uh, it's fine. But anyway, I know he's a rough fighter and prone to slug fights, and yet he got top eight boxing skills and seemingly no weaknesses. He's a solid boxer. I figured him out for the most part. I, I don't care what anybody says. Keith Dragon is getting put to sleep. He's getting his head knocked right off his shoulders. I, like this entire chapter has changed everything. I thought Keith. No, I had doubts in the previous chapter. On the chapter before this, the fight might have even that last long. And that wasn't anything against Keith. I was just thinking, just it could be a case of what if Keith Dragon goes down early. But the way that this entire chapter is, Keith is getting knocked out. He's getting his head turned 360 like Sindo and, uh, and Gonzalez doing a duel exchanges. It's over. I don't care anybody says the fight is over. I am calling it now. Keith Dragon's coach needs to throw in the towel. <laughs> it's, it's over. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video because this entire chapter, son, it, this this changes everything. Everything. Just this changes everything. I was and this is like the whole bad feeling that Miata got. Nah, nah, nah. Keep, keep dragging to knock out. He's, he's getting dropped. He really is getting dropped. And sure, Miata was the first person to say how would Takamura do at super middleweight? And to that I would say for those people who want to brand it up is do not forget that Takamura used to fight before he challenged Brian Hawk at Junior Middleweight. He used to fight in Japan as a regular middleweight before he dropped down a weight class to fight Brian Hawk. And since the whole plan with the conquest his weight classes dropped down to fight Brian Hawk, or just got a tire request from Brian Hawk, then David Eagle, Richard Bison, and it goes up and that. The question is, would he could become a three? We he be able to hold all three belts: the IBFs, the WBC, and the WBA belts. And then the next weight class, would he go even further and potentially even come undisputed? Who knows? But in this case, I, all I gotta say is the fight's over. I don't care what anybody says. The fight is over. I'm just staying here to see Keith Dragon get knocked out. And uh, yeah, if you missed with Kent, you guys thought some pin. Do you believe from this chapter that Keith is still holding extra secrets under his sleeves? Or do you believe, in my opinion, that Keith Dragon is getting put? to sleep is gonna go gently into that good night
Because maybe he might have a second form. Because I, I hope we get to see Keith Dragon. While his pompadour messed up. And his hair is all down like Siaki was there. And then he's still going there. He's still trying. And like we're getting more of an introspection. I can do it. I can beat him. He's not a tough as he looks. He's going to run out. I'm just going to survive one more round. And just out of nowhere. From the heavens. Takamura goes in for a nose dive. Blam. Decapitates Keith Dragon. Hit him right in the equilibrium. Keith is, Keith is delusional. And he follows up with his own ground cannon. Blam. Keith goes down. There's blood all over the place. And Keith Dragon getting stretched out across the back. Don't even try to. Don't even go for the count. Get the stretcher. Get him out of here. He, he needs to go to the hospital. But maybe I'm just too hyped. Maybe. Maybe this is a, a, a sign of the Takamura. I, I don't know. But yeah. Uh, I believe the fight is over. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been Shockwave King. And what are your thoughts? What do you guys thought? Do you believe the fight is over? Do you believe I'm just overhyping talking more? Do you believe I'm just looking too deep into it? Or do you believe in some form of way that I could be right? I could be right. It's been Shockwave King. And uh, peace.